When you learn how to engage your core muscles and your bandhas, you will get really strong. Let's get started. Welcome to Fight Master Yoga, the place to deepen your practice and change your world. To take your practice up a notch and really transform, meet me at myyogapal.com for access to premium programs. Be sure to go today before the price increases on Friday. I'm Leslie Fightmaster. Begin sitting tall with your shins crossed, connecting to your ujjayi pranayama. Commit your practice and see beauty in every aspect of your life. And may your practice bring you presence of mind, body, and spirit, reminding you that everything you need and desire is already within you. Release and slowly roll onto your back heels under the knees. Draw your belly in as you inhale. Start to tilt your pelvis up toward the ceiling and lift your pelvic floor muscles. As you exhale, lower down slowly. Once again, press down into the heels. Inhale, gently tilt your pelvis up, pulling the belly in, lifting the pelvic floor. And exhale, lower. Again, inhale, lifting up. Hip bones closer to the lower ribs. Spiral your thighs in. As you exhale, slowly release it. They are engaging your bandhas. Hug your knees into your chest. Inhale, extend the legs up toward the ceiling. Keep your belly pulled in. Exhale, right leg almost to the floor. If it hurts your back, put hands under hips. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, left leg almost to the floor. Don't worry about straightening the legs. Inhale, bring it up. As you exhale, lift the head and shoulders, right leg almost to the floor, fingertips reach forward. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, left leg almost to the floor. If it's too much, put the head and shoulders back down. Inhale, left leg up. Belly in. Exhale, right leg almost to the floor. Keep breathing. As you inhale, take it up. Exhale, left leg almost to the floor. Reach your fingertips forward, head and shoulders higher if you can. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, right leg down. Pull the belly and lift the pelvic floor muscles to help with your strength. Bring the right leg up, left leg down. If your neck gets tired, you can always cradle the head in the hands. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, hug your knees in. Bring both legs up again. Take your arms out at shoulder height. Take an inhale. As you exhale, take your legs to the left. Look over your right shoulder and take your legs on an angle towards your left shoulder. Pull your belly in as you breathe. Inhale through center. Squeeze the legs. Exhale, take them over to the right. Look over the left shoulder. Turn your belly up toward the ceiling. Lift the pelvic floor muscles. Pull the belly in and up. Inhale, legs to center. Once again, exhale, legs to the left, looking right. I'm holding the picnic table so I don't roll off of it. You can keep your arms at shoulder height. Inhale, take the legs to center. As you exhale, take them over to the right. Remember, on an angle toward your shoulder, looking left. Pull the belly in, keep breathing. Take the legs to center, inhale. Hug knees to chest, exhale. Begin to roll back and forth to come to seated or you can always roll to the right and press up. Use your belly muscles if you're rolling back and forth, crossing at your shins. Step back into table. Bring your wrists just in front of your shoulders. Turn your inner elbows forward and tuck your toes for down dog. Spread your fingers. Pressing down. Start to bend one knee and the other as you warm up in your down dog. Keep pressing down into the base of those fingers as you lift up through your forearms. Bend both knees to stretch back and then press your thighs back and reach your heels down. Keep your belly muscles pulling in and up and still lift your pelvic floor, but keep breathing. Inhale, come to plank pose, top of a push-up. Lengthen sitting bones to heels. Crown of the head is reaching forward. As you exhale, slowly, slowly, Hug your elbows in. Knees can be up or down. Still slowly lowering to the floor. Then bring your hands by your low ribs and inhale. Peel your chest up for a little cobra. Press down into all ten toenails. Lower. Exhale. 
Hands still by low ribs. Inhale for a little cobra or into up dog. Thighs and knees off the floor if you're an up dog. And then lift the hips, stretch back for downward facing dog. You can always roll over the toes or you can drop to the knees a moment and then flip the feet to tuck the toes under. Look forward, keep the hips high and step your feet up. Inhale, lengthen the spine halfway up and exhale, fold, bend your knees as needed. Press through the feet to rise up, Urdhva Hastasana, inhaling and exhale to Samastitihi. Feet together or hip socket distance apart at the top of your mats. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hinge from your hips and fold over your legs. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthening the spine. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms, come to plank and lower through Chaturanga. As you inhale, upward facing dog or cobra is your choice. On your exhale, to plank pose, hold it or halfway down, press up to plank and then to down dog. An extra Chaturanga that you don't have to take, but you may if you'd like. Really building some strength today. Keep stretching back and even out the breath. Look forward, exhale everything out. Step or hop up, inhale, lengthen. Fold forward, exhale. Inhale, press through the feet. Reach all the way up. Keep the ribs in. Lengthen tailbone to heels. And exhale, hands to heart. And inhale, sweep the arms up again. On your exhale, hinge from your hip creases and fold with your spine long. Inhale, lengthen halfway up. Exhale, step or float. If you float back, land with bent elbows, chaturanga. Then inhaling to upward facing dog. Exhale, plank. You can hold your plank or lower chaturanga. Press up to plank and then to down dog. This time we'll inhale, floating right leg up with level hips. So drop that outer hip. Exhale, thigh toward belly, shoulders over the wrists. Holding here and then inhale, reach it back up. Level hips. Exhale, take it to the outside of your right tricep, nice and high. Inhale, reach that leg up. Exhale, bring it forward and over to the outside of your left tricep, nice and high. Now bring it to center, knee in toward belly, holding but breathing, and step it up by the right foot. Spin the back heel down, line up heel to arch for warrior two. Make sure your right knee is over your ankle and over the middle toes. Extend through the arms, but relax through your shoulders. Reconnect, steady breath. Drop the left arm, reverse your warrior. Bending into that right knee. Inhale, come up, lean forward. Take your right forearm down, reach your left arm straight up. Now inhale, reaching your right arm forward like you're serving a tray of cookies. Keep turning your torso up toward the ceiling as if you could face your belly button up there. Come on up to warrior two. Inhale, exhale, windmill the arms down, come to plank. Lower through chaturanga, shoulders no lower than the elbows, please. Then inhale to up dog or cobra. Exhale, use your belly muscles, transition down dog. As you take your next inhale, lift your left leg back and up with level hips. So drop that outer hip down. Exhale, thigh toward belly, shoulders over the wrists. Inhale, sweep the leg back and up. Exhale, bring it forward. Nice and high on the left tricep, but don't let it rest there. That would be cheating. Inhale, sweep the leg up. As you exhale, take it across to the right tricep as high up as you can, twisting. Now keep the knee bent, bring the thigh toward belly back to center, and then step your left foot right in the middle of the hand. Spin the back heel down, lining heel to arch. Inhale, warrior two. Double check your knee is over your ankle and point it straight ahead. Extend through the arms, draw the belly in, lift the chest but soften around the neck. Drop the right arm reverse as you exhale, bend your left knee a little. Press down into the front heel, inhale, come up, lean forward, get some length in the side body. Left forearm down, right arm up. Inhale, extend the left arm straight ahead of you. 
Now turn your belly up toward the ceiling and really press into the front heel and the outer edge of the back foot and lift your pelvic floor. Come to warrior two, inhale, exhale. Take the hands down through chaturanga or you could always skip it, go to down dog. Inhaling to up dog, exhale back. Remember, push the pause button, take a child's pose, rest when you need a rest. Inhale, come to plank pose. Now exhale, stay in plank, just round the upper back. Inhale, regular plank, chest moves forward. Exhale, stay and round the upper back so the hips will stay low. Pull the belly and ribs in and up. Inhale, regular plank pose, chest forward, tailbone toward heels. As you exhale, step the feet together, right hand moves toward the center. Side plank, lift the left arm up, bring your top hip gently forward so it's above the bottom hip. Pull the belly and lengthen tail to heels. Come back to plank. Stay or lower through chaturanga. Then inhaling up or dog. As you exhale, return to plank. Lower chaturanga, press up to plank again. Step the feet together, roll to the pinky toe side of the left foot, right arm up. Take your top hip a little bit forward. Keep pulling your belly and your ribs in. Lift the pelvic floor muscles and firm your leg muscles. Breathe. Release back to plank pose and lower chaturanga. Inhale, press through the hands and feet into up dog. And then exhale, make your way back, downward facing dog. Breathing here, even out your breath. Inhales and exhales equal in length. Keep pressing back, then bend the knees, look up, step or hop your feet up, lengthen on your inhale, fold as you exhale. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthen, bring your hands to your hips, and then exhale to stand. Feet together or hip socket distance apart. As you inhale, look up for a tiny back bend. As you exhale, fold forward, grab your big toes with your first two fingers, wrap them around, feet hips width. Lengthen as you inhale, and then exhale it everything out till you're empty, and pull your belly in and up, and hold the breath out. Holding, and then inhale, let it drop, let the belly drop, and fold, exhale. Bend the knees as needed, crown of the head lengthening toward the floor. Inhale, come halfway up again. As you exhale, exhale everything out till you're empty, then pull your belly in and up strongly. Hold the breath out. Pause, you're empty of breath. Let the belly drop, inhale, and then fold forward, exhale. Hips over the heels if the legs are straight. Keep your breath steady now. Then inhale again, come halfway up, lengthen, hands to hips, exhale, and back to standing at the top of your mat. Inhale, sit back into Utkatasana chair pose, weight into the heels, exhale belly to thighs and now straighten the legs forward fold. Come halfway up, lengthen, inhale, exhale step or float for Chaturanga. Inhaling, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana up dog, exhaling Make your way to down dog. On the inhale, float the right leg up. Again, level hips. As you exhale, bring your thigh in towards your belly, shoulders over wrists. Pull the belly in and up to hold, but keep breathing. Now step the foot up by the hand, stand the ball of your back foot, come to crescent, inhale. Bend your back knee, tilt your pelvis forward, and then straighten through the leg as you pull your right hip back. Reach up through arrow straight arms. Make sure your front ribs are in. Now hands in front of heart. Take your left arm across and twist. Keep pulling that right hip back, lifting the left hip up. You can stay hands at heart or take your left hand to the floor, right arm up. Going in a little bit deeper, stretching up through the arm if it's straight. And keep reaching through the back heel and make sure the right knee stays over the ankle. Squeeze outer hips, inner thighs. Come back to center, back to crescent, inhaling. Find your balance and then exhale. Bring the hands down 
As you inhale, lift your left leg up from the inner thigh. As you exhale, bend your knee, walk your hands back, and then sit right on your bottom for Navasana. Knees can be bent or straight, but make sure your spine is long. If you're tired, you can hold on behind the legs. Squeeze the knees, inhale, straighten right leg, then bend it. Next, inhale, left leg straightens, exhale, bend. Inhale, both legs straight if you can, but keep your spine long. And then release it. Cross your ankles, pick up anything you can, step or float back for Chaturanga. Inhale, press through hands and feet. And exhale, make your way into Downward Facing Dog. Take a breath and then inhale the left leg back and up with level hips. Exhale, knee forward, thigh toward belly. Press away from the floor, pull your belly in and up, pelvic floor muscles engaged. Lightly step the left foot up by the hand. Stay on the ball of your back foot. Rise up into crescent pose. Bend the back knee, tilt the pelvis forward, pull the left hip back, and now straighten that leg. Keep your front ribs drawing down and in. Lift through your back ribs. Stretch through arrow straight arms. Bring your hands to your heart. Lean forward, hug your right arm across. You're twisting from above your waist. Keep your left hip pulling back and make sure that left knee's over the ankle. Option to take right hand down and left arm up. Stretch the crown of the head forward and then maybe look up. Try and keep your hips nice and level and breathe. Squeeze outer hips, inner thighs. Inhale, come back to crescent. Get your balance. Keep pulling in through the belly. Bring your hands to the floor. Exhale, lifting your right leg up. Now start to bend the knee and bring it forward as you walk the hands back and then sit all the way down into Navasana Boat Pose. Squeeze the knees. Knees can be bent or straight. Stay up or exhale. Lower almost to the floor and then come up. Inhale. Stay or exhale. Lower almost to the floor. Pull the belly in. Firm the pelvic floor. Inhale up. Exhale. Lower or stay up. Inhale. Come on up. And then cross your ankles, pick up anything at all, step or float back for Chaturanga. Inhale, press through the hands and feet, stretch the front of the body, feels so good, and then exhale to Down Dog. Stretch back a moment, evening out your breath. Remember, push, pause, and rest as you need to or as you want to. Body's always different on different days, so you've got to take care of yours. Step or hop to seated. And then extend the legs in front of you. Press your heels down onto the floor. Sit up nice and tall, hands by hips. Inhale, lift your bottom and slide your heels back. Hold it, but breathe. Slowly release back down. Bring your hands behind you. Bend the knees. Inhale, come up for reverse table. Let your head go back if your neck feels okay with that. Take a breath here. Fingertips facing forward, or you can turn them out if it bothers the wrists this way. Chin in toward chest and lower down. Extend the legs back to Dandasana. Pull the toes back, but keep the heels down. Inhale, lift your butt and pull yourself back. It's a lot of core strength. Keep breathing, rounding the back as you do. Sit back down, bring your hands behind you. Fingertips forward and press to reverse table. Remember, fingertips can also turn out. Spin the inner thighs down, lengthen sitting bones to backs of knees and let your head go back, opening the chest. Keep your breath nice and steady. Chin in to lower. One more time, hands by hips. Inhale, lift and pull back. Really pull in through the belly and pelvic floor muscles. Slowly release. Bring your hands behind you. Bend the knees or this time maybe keep them straight. Porvotanasana. If the legs are straight, press the feet flat down into the floor as you lift up. Let your head go back any amount. Chin to chest as you return to seated. Bend your right knee, right sole the foot onto the floor. Bring your right arm inside the leg. 
Take it around and wrap it. Maybe hold your left arm or hold your clothes and then fold forward, exhale. Keep pulling the left toes back and firming that left leg. Marichyasana A. Try and roll your left shoulder away from the floor, keeping your chest and collarbones wide. Even here, keep your belly lifted. Inhale, come up. Now bring your right hand behind you, left arm up. Exhale, take it across for a twist. Marichyasana C. Inhale, create length through the spine. Exhale, roll the right shoulder open. Make sure the left toes are still facing up toward the ceiling. They have a tendency to get a mind of their own when you're in this pose. Take another breath. And then head to center, inhale and release. Bend your left leg, left sole of the foot on the floor, left arm inside. Reach it forward, wrap it around, hold your right hand or hold your clothes. Lengthen, inhale, extending forward as you exhale. And do your best to roll your right shoulder back. And breathe. Remember, it never matters how deep you get into a stretch. Just as long as you feel some kind of a stretch. Not too intense. Don't need to go too deeply into these postures. Inhale, come on up. And now left hand behind, right arm up, inhale. Exhale, bring it across and twist. Keep those right toes pointed up to the ceiling as you inhale, lengthen up through your spine as you exhale. Maybe twist in a little deeper if you can. Remember, never forcing. Always use your breath to go in little by little. Bring your head to center and release. Now take your right knee over your left knee. And you can keep the left leg straight or bend the left leg as well for Gomukhasana legs. It's knee on top of knee or the bottom leg straight. Then right arm up, bending the right elbow, left arm behind you. Clasp your hands or hold on to your clothing. Stay up or hinge from the hips. Exhale to come forward. And breathe here. It's a hip opener. It's a shoulder opener. Do what you can. And again, it never matters how deep you get in. This is a practice. It's not perfection. Let go of any of those ideas about where you think you should be. Inhale, come on up. Release your hands. Now take your hands over toward the left side and turn, turn, turn. Walk your hands all the way around you. So when you sit back down, now your left knee is ab above the right. You can always extend the right leg forward or knee on top of knee if that works for you. Sit both hips, sitting bones down. Left arm up, bend the elbow. Right arm out to the side, bring it behind you. Clasp your hands or hold on to your shirt. Lengthen as you inhale. Stay or hinge from your hip creases and exhale. Try to keep both sitting bones down as you breathe here. Just do what you can and enjoy the journey. That is the most important part. Yoga is surprisingly not about the pose. It's breath and connection. Come on up on your inhale. And release. Uncross your legs. Scoot a little forward so you have room behind you to roll onto your back. Bring your heels under the knees, outer edges of feet parallel. And just breathe. Resting your hands on your belly. A couple long, expansive breaths into the belly and then bring it up into the rib cage on your inhale all the way to the top and then as you exhale releasing first through the chest and then through the rib cage and finally the belly draw the belly in and up and then let it all go and inhale again expand through your breath Belly, rib cage, into the chest. And then exhale. Release it first through the chest and then through the rib cage. 
and then the belly all the way around to the low back. Draw the belly in and up. And then hug your right knee in, extend your left leg out, and then exhale. Take your right knee across and twist. Look over your right shoulder as the knee comes to the left and turn your belly up toward the ceiling as you twist. You can also bend both knees if that feels better. Come to center, hug the left knee in, inhale. As you exhale, twist, take it to the right. Look over your left shoulder. Remember, you can bend both knees if that feels better in your body. Take deep breaths in your twist. And relax around your neck and shoulders. Come back through center, hug both knees in. And then take the little toe sides of your feet for happy baby pose. Draw your sitting bones down. Exhale, extend your right leg out to the right. Keep the left knee bent. Inhale back to happy baby, and as you exhale, left leg out to the left, keep the right knee bent. If it doesn't work to hold your feet, you can always hold your ankles. Come back to happy baby, inhale, and then exhale, option to extend both legs out. Or variation of Upavishta Konasana. Wide-legged forward fold, but on your back. Now release that. Hug knees into chest. And take your feet to the floor. Lengthen sitting bones to backs of knees. Extend the legs out. Allow your feet to flop open and relax your shoulders away from your ears for Shavasana. Get comfortable. Take as much time as you need. Our quote today, it's from an unknown author. I was looking for someone to inspire me motivate me, support me, keep me focused. Someone who would love me, cherish me, make me happy. And I realized all along that I was looking for myself. Quiet mind, quiet body, Shavasana. Begin to take a deeper breath here and start to make some movements in your fingers and your toes, hands and feet. Stretch out through your arms and your legs, reawakening your body. Bend your knees, roll to your right side, pause here. Thank yourself for showing up today. You did great work. Make your way up to a comfortable seat. Bring your hands together. Hands to your forehead, reminding you to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to your heart, reminding you to have clear and loving intentions. Hands to your mouth, reminding you to have clear and loving communication, sending positive energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste, the light in me loves the light in you. If you've ever had a dream, that you felt was impossible to achieve. Click this video with Marie Forleo. I want you to be able to achieve your dreams. We'll watch it together. You're in the perfect headspace after yoga. So click this video and let's all watch it together.